The next day, Selena went back to school as Simon. During the incident in the cave yesterday, Lucian immediately left after extending his invitation. Maybe the man was quite sensitive if Selena felt uncomfortable with everything he said. Unlike Lucian, Selena actually felt lucky because the young man couldn't see her figure clearly. Selena feels that her disguise is still safe so far. It seems like luck is still on my side. If Lucian had seen me wearing the Blacktorn school uniform yesterday, it would have been even more difficult for me to explain to him, muttered Selena. I have to be more careful from now on if I don't want my identity to be exposed. Selena had thought carefully about Lucian's masquerade party invitation. She, of course, didn't want to miss the opportunity to accept the invitation. Now she intended to meet Lucian to tell him that. However, she won't just come without a condition. Where is he? Selena muttered wonderingly. She came to Lucian's class, but the young man was not there. Who are you looking for? A young man's voice shocked Selena. She immediately turned around, and apparently it was Lucian who was asking her. Hi, Lucian, said Selena a little awkwardly. What's wrong with you? Why do you look so strange today, Simon? Lucian commented on seeing Simon's behavior suddenly look very stiff in his eyes. It's nothing, denied Selena a little nervously. Are you looking for me? Lucian asked, right on target. Yes, I need to talk to you about your masquerade party invitation to my sister. Uh, apparently so. It's better if we don't talk here. Come with me. As usual, Lucian always walked first and left Selena behind him. His footsteps were so wide that Selena had a hard time keeping up. Tusk, this guy, can't he walk slower? Doesn't he know I'm having a hard time keeping up with his pace? Selena grumbled even though she couldn't do anything but follow Lucian's steps. It turns out that Lucian took Selena, who is now Simon, to a special room. The room was Lucian's private resting place when he felt tired. Please sit down. Thank you. Selena looked around at the room, which wasn't too big but was quite comfortable and had good facilities. She was stunned for a moment because the son of the owner of the foundation was truly different from the other students. What do you want to say? Has your sister agreed to come to the masquerade party? Lucian asked. He really couldn't wait to hear the decision of the girl who really attracted his attention. My sister told me she agreed to come. Lucian's face suddenly brightened. He was very happy to hear the news that Selena had received a party invitation from him. It seemed like he couldn't wait to be at party from now on. I'm very happy because she accepted my invitation. Convey my thanks to her, responded Lucian with a happy face. Okay, I'll tell her, but she has a condition that you have to fulfill, so she's willing to come. Lucian's forehead furrowed slightly because he was curious about the conditions Selena would give. What's that? What's that? She wants her identity to remain a secret behind her mask. Are you able to fulfill that? Of course. That's an easy thing to do. I was really afraid if she gave more difficult conditions. Responded Lucian with a sincere smile. Selena was momentarily stunned to hear Lucian's words. She was a little regretful because she gave easy conditions to the young man. However, it couldn't be helped. After all, she had intended to attend the masquerade party. Okay, I'll tell her. I also invite you to come if you don't mind. Thank you for your invitation, but I don't like the party atmosphere. Selena politely declined. I also don't like being in crowds. Then I can't force you, but you don't mind if your sister's my partner at the party? Of course. That's why I came to meet you to convey the message. After finishing talking, Selena, disguised as Simon, left. Of course, she didn't want to chat with Lucian for long, especially not in a school environment. It was time to go home from school. Apparently, Cedric was waiting for Selena in the parking lot. The young man's face looked confused, as if he had a lot of thoughts bothering him. Why did you come to school? Shouldn't you rest because of your injury? Selena asked as soon as she was near Cedric. Are you okay? How are you now? She tried to check Cedric's neck, which was injured by Lucian's scratches yesterday. Cedric tried to avoid it and not let Selena touch his wound. This attitude, of course, made Selena feel shocked and confused. It's unusual for Cedric to look so cold today. I came to pick you up. I'm fine. Come on up. Cedric opened the door for Selena. I can open the door myself. Why should you bother? 
This situation seems strange because you opened the door for a man. I don't care what they say. Cedric responded indifferently. Selena felt there was something strange about her best friend. However, she didn't want to ask too many questions and chose to get into Cedric's car according to his instructions. Throughout the journey, the atmosphere was very quiet until Cedric took Selena to the front of her house. Thank you for the lift, said Selena shortly after getting out of the car and then walking away. Are you still going to the masquerade party? Cedric asked suddenly, stopping Selena's footsteps. Of course. I've decided. Hearing Selena's answer made Cedric's facial expression even more sour. He even got out of the car and approached the girl. Don't go. Cedric spoke firmly as he stared intently into Selena's eyes. Why should I obey you? Asked Selena, who felt unhappy about being banned by Cedric. Why did you come to that party? You have to remember your original purpose for transferring to Blackthorn School. Why are you playing around like this? Selena took a rough breath as she looked away. She put her hands on her hips because she felt that Cedric had judged her too much. What right do you have to say that? I do consider you a friend, but I can't accept it if you say that. Selena snapped. I'm not playing around. I have to approach Lucian at all costs because I have to know more about the Blacktorn clan. Does looking for information mean sleeping with him? Selena's chest rose and fell. She couldn't hold back her emotions any longer because Cedric was discussing this matter. You're too much. I'll still go even if you tell me not to. Don't be stubborn. Whatever happens, I won't let you go to the party. Cedric replied no less firmly. It's up to you. I stand by my stance. Selena seemed tired of arguing with Cedric. She chose to leave the young man and go to her house. At that time, Cedric felt very frustrated because Selena didn't want to listen to him. His obsessive and jealous nature emerged immediately. He grabbed Selena's arm and made her face him. I won't let you go there. Cedric pulled Selena's body close and kissed the girl's lips forcefully. Selena's eyes widened completely when she felt Cedric's supple lips touch hers. She never thought that her best friend would go that far. She tried to break away from Cedric's kiss, but she was too weak. No! Cedric roughly pushed Selena's body against the wall. With passion, frustration, and jealousy, he bit Selena's lips. He wouldn't let the girl he had longed for for a long time go to a party with another young man. His heart also hurt too much because he knew that Selena had slept with Lucian.